Welcome back to Cactus Wrestling. We are doing a U23 preview. And before we get started, you can see the lineup for Team USA on the screen already. But before we kind of talk about it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps the channel out. And uh, we're hoping to get a, to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. So make sure you hit subscribe. And now let's talk about wrestling. So uh, we'll just start from the, the top, I guess. Cooper Flynn, 57 kilos, Virginia Tech. Um, I, I think he's taking his Olympic redshirt, right, this year? Yeah, he's taking an Olympic redshirt this year. Um, so, yes, he's he's capping the team off at 57 kilos. Um, is, this isn't the first time, though, that he's been um, wrestling at the world stage, right? No, I mean he uh he actually got a gold medal in uh Poland at their uh the tournament going on over there in July. Okay, yeah. Um yeah, I mean yeah, this this article talks about some of the guys that are returning that have done some good stuff. Um I, mean, I think if I remember correctly, he beat someone that was like a former NCAA champion or something at uh the Poland tournament. No kidding. Yeah, let me see if I can find it who it was. Uh he wrestled Oh, he, he beat Darian Cruz. He beat, I mean, everybody beat Darian Cruz. Yeah. Darian <laughs> Cruz is a folk style wrestler. Just can't. Yeah. yeah. Darian Cruz, uh, yeah, yeah. He beat him four to one in the finals. But, Mike, if you want to scroll up uh, just oh, a little sorry. bit. So, um, Julian Sheblov for, for 61 kilos. We were just talking about this guy. Uh, you know, he, he had the U23 team um spot by winning the uh, u23 nationals uh but he he was kind of a guy that he, you know he's a junior for arizona state hasn't really done much for the folk style scene uh, hopefully he can translate that to freestyle and, and do some damage for team usa but um i don't know I mean, Cooper fling did beat steve-o steve-o Poulin? yeah he beat him two out of three nice to get to the spot. So, uh, I mean, I think it's not crazy to say that Flynn could come home with a medal. Shablov, um, I'm a little more skeptical on, but. Flynn looked pretty, you know, him taking gold in Poland was very good for him. Um, it definitely added some credibility to, you know, a guy that's like, you know, good, but I, uh, it's going to sound rude, but I feel like U23s is kind of like where guys go that are like, yeah, I, I didn't really make the senior level that I wanted to. And um, yeah, I'm too old for juniors. I feel like U23s gets very little attention every year. That's so fair. You, is that a comment pointed at Aaron Brooks and Keegan O'Toole? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, two guys that are just smoke. No. Um, I think that like Cooper Flynn's good, but I don't know how he's going to do it 57 kilos because I don't know any of the other U23 guys. Um, across, you know, the world, I, I, there's guys from the juniors. I'm like, oh, I recognize that name, or, or from seniors, of course, you'd be like, oh yeah, no, that guy. But U 23s I kind of feel like is that weird, like middle ground. Where you're like, oh, I don't. Uh, that, yeah, that's kind of like they start making a name for themselves. Like, hey, look at that, I got a U twenty three world medal. No, I, I think Brock Hardy should do pretty dang good. He, um, he, yeah, he's I a agree. He's very interesting wrestler. He's got that weird liz wizard limp yeah. leg um but he's I, he's a very funky scrambler type wrestler i just i don't know how that will translate in freestyle as well i mean he did beat ryan jack two out of three matches to get the spot dunked on him yeah but ryan jack didn't all american in folk style so <laughs> but he was almost a u23 world team member so yeah. i wanted to see bo bartlett here actually at 65 Bo Bartlett would probably be better. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, the especially since Bo Bartlett, I, I, in quotes, beat Nick Lee yeah. in the, at the US Open. So Bo ended up doing like an interview and they're like, oh, why didn't you want to go U23? He's like, yeah, I just don't care. <laughs> well, when you get like, a taste of, of the, the senior yeah. level, well, I think that's exactly it. Back. He's like, why would I go wrestle JV when I could be? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was like, you know, senior level was my goal. And since I didn't do that, I'm just going to focus on folk style. And they're like, yeah, that, that's fine. 
Um, but with Sasso being out at 70 kilos, we got who's in there now? Doug Zap. Interesting choice. I think Sasso would have done really, really well. I can't necessarily say the same for Doug. Honestly, I think Sasso would have came home with gold. Yeah. He, he like, looked Sasso really, really good tough. at the U.S. Open. Like, I mean, I know Pantaleo was the one seed at the U.S. Open, but Sasso beat the crap out of Pantaleo at Final X in that true third match. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. I was I not it. expecting that at all. It's a kind of a shame that Tyler Berger was able to um, make the final Sasso action. out yeah. the spot there. Yeah. Because um, I think Sasso on, uh, who was it? Uh, Nick Lee? No. No, Sasso was on. Um, uh, Zane. Sasso on yeah. Zane would have been. Would have been an interesting match. Yeah, it would have been a really interesting matchup. Berger versus Lee. I mean, Ver- Berger versus Zane was something I didn't really care for. Oh, especially with how it played out with the headbutt and yeah, uh, yeah. this um, seventy-four kilos, super short answer. Keegan's winning. I just yeah, I think he'll run it. right through that bracket. I think it'll be like when Bo Nickel wrestled at Worlds at U twenty-three, and you're like, ah, oh, what is Bo doing here? Like he just barely lost to like David Taylor or something. Now he's just gonna blitz the field. I think Keegan O'Toole is like, yeah, I had a really close match with you know Jason Nolf and. uh he lost to Kyle Dake, who took second the worlds for senior level. Um, I'm probably gonna do pretty good here. So Same, I'm be probably gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna do okay. Same with Aaron Brooks. Yeah. Bold. Aaron Brooks, again, I'm like, man, dude, just go 92. Like you said you're going 197, just go 92 kilos. Like he just likes cutting weight. Yeah, he just <laughs> victim for the loves to be on the, you know, embrace the suck. Um I mean, plots are returning all American. So, like, I mean, he'll yeah. probably do decent. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he came home with like a bronze or a silver or something. He's got a pretty good, uh, pretty good coach that knows how to win world medals over there. Jacob Cardenas for 92 at the Spartan Combat, Cornell. Tough wrestler, all American last year. I, yeah. I don't necessarily think he's going to win this thing, but mm. tough wrestler. Yeah, I mean, I think a, a decent. I mean, it's probably this is a good experience for him. Hopefully, uh, it'll help him propel him to the world stage where he can lose to Kyle Snyder. That's everybody's <laughs> goal. Everybody like, wants uh, to lose to Kyle Snyder. Not too dissimilar from Isaac Trumbull losing to Kyle Snyder. <laughs> Didn't so. someone predict him in our comments to like win? Oh no, that was somebody else. Never mind. That was somebody else. Okay. Trumbull? Hey, I got you. Trumbull, I got to be like, yo, Trent, what are you doing? Like, I can't <laughs> wrestle this year. Well, he's going to just do an Olympic red shirt. All he has to do is qualify for the Olympic trials, and then he doesn't, he gets the red shirt. So, yeah, I guess. Pat Pop always has a plan over there at uh, NC State. Yeah. Honestly, said, be... I, I feel like Trumbull does better at freestyle than he does folk style. He's got that. That's because I think he likes doing big moves that can yeah. expose get the exposure and whatnot so i got hendrickson winning oh yeah. definitely i think he's gonna run through it yeah like i mean he he was pretty tit for tat with uh mace, mace paris. paris and mace paris is world bronze medalist yeah oh yeah so, yeah i think doesn't, uh doesn't wyatt hendrickson wear the shark headgear yes well it's so it's like the air force um like the old school, like fighter pilots oh, that cool. used to have like the painted, you know, painted on the sides. That's cool. Um, he reminds he reminds yeah. me of um, the shark in that movie, Sharknado, Sh- Fish Tail, Shark Tail with Will oh, Smith. Oh, um, where uh, the shark Jack played Black. by Jack. Black. Oh, a shark! He plays shark- Lenny. <laughs> yeah, Lenny. Yeah, yeah. That's Lenny. that's who Ryan Hendrickson reminds me of. That shark. With the, no with the gear. that's high praise, I guess. <laughs> I, hey, I mean it's a good movie. <laughs> Sebastian the whale washing dolphin. Yeah. But so I mean I think USA. Team oh, USA, Cardenas actually has a world level bronze medalist. So yeah, good for him. I think Team USA has has a a, a very good roster. You look at this and you feel yeah, pretty silver. confident yeah. with pretty much all these guys. Um, I think we're tough credits just, just because we expect gold out of everyone. So a guy like Cardenas, you would be like, oh, yeah, like bronze. Why didn't he get gold? <laughs> type of thing. I mean, so, yeah, he got silver last year. 
it's kind of crazy though how much deeper this bracket this roster could have been if you had Camacho at 57 um if you had 65 you had Bo Bartlett if you had you know Sasu at 70 I mean this roster could have been killer but this is I still mean, a really good pretty killer and they're probably yeah. going to come away with like seven plus medals hopefully well it just goes to the to the point that you were saying like does the world even value this tournament <laughs> yeah I have no idea I mean I other countries do yeah maybe we'll see drop a comment down below what do you think is going to happen at the u23s uh team usa is looking pretty good hopefully they can take home gold